So I'm using the Credo today. I love this machine. I'm surrounded by all these cows are just too inquisitive, you know? They got, what, over 300 acres of land and they decide to just start eating the grass that I want to detect. He's going at it. Yeah, okay. Don't look at me like that. There's no need to look so moody. I'm not interested in Big Macs. Don't worry about it, you know? Don't worry about it. Right, so if I can hear my machine over all of the munching, the farting, coughing, and relieving oneself, um, let me find a clear patch. Get off my spade, man. Oh, it's all right. So I'm, because this dual nine coil, I'm gonna knock my sensitivity up quite a bit. I'm feeling brave. Nice. Put my threshold at about 12. Oh, excuse me. Just chill, man. There's no need to fart and burp out loud. And then I'm gonna have my threshold just on the edge. So that's how I'm gonna run this. Uh, recovery speed slow. Let's go. Got a nice one here. Just coming in nice. Well, it's not just coming in, in the headphones, it's loud. Let's, um, yeah, the cows are gone now, thankfully. Uh, let's go. Oh, it's gorgeous to dig because we've had quite a lot of rain. I think the farmers actually cut the grass as well, which is which is nice. And like I said, on this whole part, you can't see any any of the holes I dug, which always makes me feel good. Um, makes me feel good. Oh yeah, look, it's compact. We've got some serious, uh, seriously good soil. Okay, unnecessarily deep, but it's one of those situations where I haven't used the Credo for a while. It would take me a few targets to get back into it. Stick that back out together. This is going to be small. If it is really small, I might, I might actually lower my sensitivity. Because, yeah, as we've said, or as I've said before, Pushing up the sensitivity, you know, it makes it sensitive to to everything, not just the the deeper targets. So I'm going to drop my sensitivity. That's a nice one, that is. Let me, um... Ah, 
that's a very nice signal. Sweet, smooth. I'm gonna go deep on it. I got a hunch. Come on. I hate it when it oh, gets stuck because it puts pressure on my back. I'm becoming an old man. Jesus, I used to gig, tour. I used to play for up to six hours when it came to rehearsals. Nah. Uh, but due to the... Uh, I spent my whole life from the age of 13 playing drums live. It's a shit business. You know? No one's got the X factor. It's bullshit. Okay. Let's. Let me go and get my F19. Unbalance this baby. Hang on. There we go. Disc mode. Oh yeah. Around about seven inches, eight inches. I see. Like I said, the Credo was the sort of entry level Nexus, so to speak. Um, it doesn't have entry level performance. And we've also got to remember with the depth of some of the stuff I've dug, you know, 13 and a half on a small buckle and then there was that other very small thin piece of non-ferrous about 14 inches under the the eye and this is only the dual nine coil it's not like it's more of a general search coil than a deep coil so to speak um but yeah you want to be listening for the that beautiful thing like look at that uh, we're down a long way here um, again really considering I've barely got the sensitivity up at all um, this is whatever it is it don't matter because like I said it's the process You know, and we get used to the process. Um, I really like, hello. I really like bringing the F19 with me. You know, because even with a target this deep, okay, which is, look, it's down there. With a target this deep, if you didn't have the F19, you'd be digging for a bit. And then you'd be like, eh, nah. You can't be like that with, with any of Nexus machine. You can't be like it. You've got to take it slow, swing nice, listen for that, you know, those little lifts in the threshold. That's what I'm kind of addicted to. And I don't get that kind of feedback from a digital detector. However much I love my Equinox, it's just not where I want to be. Come on, man. Ugh. Dude, it's probably going to be bloody a piece of iron in the end, isn't it? But the discrimination's pretty bang on with these machines.
<laughs> yeah, look at that. Ay, ay, ay. I just, I'm just get, taking a few seconds. Look, look. It's a bottle cap. <sighs> it's a Roman bottle cap. Well, no, I mean, with how far down that was, that's more of an Ab Adam and Eve bottle cap. Look at that. It's ridiculous. It was here. Just in the sidewall there. <sighs> I told you stuff's deep here. Just for the hell of it, shall we measure it? Let me go and get my bag. It's probably going to be my last hole. The cows are buggered off, so I can leave my machines here. Okay, so... It was in the sidewall there. That's where it was, there. <sighs> so, here we are ground level I swing as we know two with this coil two two and a half inches off the ground so let's um, let's get down exactly off the sidewall just there where it was so we're looking at in the ground twelve and a half yeah, so in the ground, 12 and a half inches with a nice signal, um, plus two and a half, 12, 13, 14. So that's 14 and a half inches on a, on a bloody bottle cap, man. I can't believe that. I just had this feeling that that was going to be the money shot. Oh, well, like I said, on this kind of land, you learn so much about the machines. And like I said, that's only the dual nine coil. That's a general search coil, really. You know, the I've got the third, I got a 10 inch, but I got the 13 inch double D for this. Um, and that will put, that will go deeper than, than that. So if nothing, it's, it's always a learning experience and it's showing in-field performance, which is what the whole point of these videos are. And occasionally, we might actually find something good. Cool. I'm going to go a bit deeper on this one. A little bit deeper. You know, you just got to kind of cool it sometimes. Oh, hang on, look. That's a, a previous hole. Well, what do you know? That's a bit weird. Hmm, okay. Let's slot that out. That is very weird, isn't it? But I can then just slot it back in. Yeah, there's definitely something in there. Let me prise up 
my last hole. This is totally fine because they will slot down tidy. Okay. Let's go and get the F-19. That's full of cow. Look, it's, ugh. It's absolutely soaking wet because the cows have licked it. Oh well. Whoop. Don't want to be losing that. <sighs> okay, so let's have a bit of a. Yeah. definitely stuff there or something there it says about six five six inches so that's just yeah prize out some soil be good if it was a treasure but I think you and me both know by now it's 50 50 with everything here well actually no the the odds aren't that good But yeah, this is why I like to use my little F19 to pinpoint when I'm using my Nexus detectors, you know. When I get my dual 16 coil, I think the F19 will be invaluable, to be honest. What is it? Come on. Come along. Please don't be a Roman pool tab. That would suck. Okay, ha ha, hardy ha. I'm only using the bloody dual nine coil for God's sake. Look, we, we're right down. Is it, maybe it is large or deep iron? No, look at that. Look at that. That is an old buckle. Look at that. Oh, 
and look at look at that okay so because I'm anal because I'm anal I'm going to measure that that's fantastic and that was a that was a strong signal that was a really strong signal so let's just put that there let's go and get where's my bag okay let me turn you off I turn you back on that's pretty impressive depth okay this is not the credo isn't as powerful as the MP series um, but there's been quite not quite a lot but there's been some people just saying about like you know they've watched one or two videos new videos and then they've gone it doesn't look like a deep unit to me or they've bought it and they've used it for like three days and then they turn around and go it's not a deep unit with depth you can only find what's in the ground if you don't have deep targets you're not going to find them that's it but that is not a big target okay so let's just i know i'm getting a bit anal here but i just it's only right to do so because some of the nonsensical bollocks that people have been messaging me with you know and i don't mean that in a nasty way i just mean it in a can you just think please about things sensibly okay so i am i'm swinging that about two and a half three inches off the bottom now let's let's do that so that is in the ground what are we looking at that is about 11 and a half inches fraction under 12 so 11 and a half inches in the ground and then add another two and a half three 11 12 13 so i hit on that little buckle at about 13 13 and a half inches in total yeah because that would put me hang on a minute so that would put me about there which is yeah kind of how high yeah yeah that i'm swinging okay so that's not super deep but that's still a pretty good result look it's just oh it's like living in london it's like being back up in London with people just kind of crapping where they're standing. This what he looks a bit miserable, doesn't he? Yeah, I wanted to try to get the end of that. Just he seemed so chilled out whilst he was going to the loo. I wish I could master that kind of zen when I'm on the toilet. Yeah. Okay. Let's plug my wireless thing in. Put my earphones on and hopefully I can detect without getting dry humped uh, by a cow. Got two here. I think that's shallow aluminium because it breaks up when I put the iron reject on. But here. So let's go for this one first. And this one's obviously a little bit deeper. You can tell by the softness in the audio. We're approaching very close to where I found a crotal bell. Uh, with, I think with the Credo actually I found it, I did. That day I was using, I think I was using the 13 inch double D coil that day. It was quite deep, about 14 inches or so.
cool. Come on. I'd love to be rewarded for my extreme trash digging. <laughs> yeah, don't work like that, does it? Come on. It's at the depth that I would expect something. What is this? <clears throat> is it going to be garbage? I'm seeing a lot of browning down there. Hey ho. We take it as it comes. is this oh look at that now that is exactly what we're after look at that that is freaking gorgeous it's going to be some really nice detail on that as well don't know if i might have just clipped it i haven't got my brush or anything here See, and this is my whole point about this part and this farm, you know. I'm sure a lot of people would just, wouldn't bother. They'd just give up because of all the trash. But you can't do that, man. You just got to keep going. Metal detecting, <laughs> metal detecting is not, oh, that's got really nice decoration on. Second buckle. With that other one yesterday yeah metal detecting is not um you don't pay your money and r and go home with your hammered do you know what i mean we, we live in such a instant society you know like if we want something to eat we press a button and the doorbell goes you know if we if we see something that we want online we press a button the doorbell goes and it's delivered and i think everyone gets so used to this kind of I pay my money and I get what I want. I'm clicking, you know, to sort of like point out the instantaneousness of everything. But you can't, you just, that metal detecting just doesn't work that way. You know, just because you pay money to go on a group dig, it doesn't mean that gives you the right to dig, you know, 72 hammer coins. It just doesn't work like that, you know? Somewhere down the line though, yeah, things are getting blurry you got good land you're gonna dig good stuff whatever machine you've got you got shit land you're not gonna dig stuff that's that great you know and it doesn't matter what machine you've got I know it's common sense but yeah there's not much of that around nowadays but look at that that's freaking lovely. That's got really, really lovely, lovely detail on it. Very pleased with that. Down there, a little ways. I'm going to clean it. It does look like I've just nicked it. Only a very, very fraction. Fraction. Blah, blah, blah.